All right, let's do this. All right, so here's the deal. I am currently trying to set up a boot camp assistant to install a copy of Windows 10 onto my Mac. For whatever reason, boot camp can't handle the fact that I have multiple partitions on this Mac. So I go and I open up a disk part or disk utility or it's disk utility on Mac. Disk part is uh, Linux. And you can see I clearly have three partitions. I have Macintosh HD, which is my primary partition for Mac OS. I have this, it's a basic data partition. It's 5.52 gigabytes. And I have this partition, which is 33.54 gigabytes. And this was my Linux installation uh, partition until I formatted it. I'm trying to uh, make it ready for Windows because this is the partition that I wanted to put Windows on. But for whatever reason, it doesn't like the fact that I have partitions. So, obviously, since I've already formatted my primary Linux partition, and this partition is just a basic data partition. I, I honestly don't remember, don't even know what this does. At one point, it did something. I don't remember what. I think it might have been for swap file or something. The problem is whenever I open up its partition data and I click on the untitled 34 gigabyte. It won't let me remove it, no matter which way I format it. XFAT, MS-DOS, it doesn't matter if it's external or extended journaled for OSX. It won't let me remove it, nor this other weird partition that I don't remember what it does. And I also don't remember what this 16 megabyte does, but I think it's unformatted. I don't remember what these two do, because the problem is, is that this whole disk image is a copy of another Mac that I had since 2013, which is also another image off of another Mac. So I have a whole lot of stuff, like I'm still finding files to this day on this Mac that I forgot I even had that are like from 2009. So your question might be, well, Cody, why don't you go and, uh, just install Windows like any other user and just boot off of Windows and then uh, install it manually, install all your drivers manual on a custom partition without the Boot Camp Assistant. That's a good question. The reason I can't do that is because Apple no longer puts any kind of drivers on their website for Windows, which makes it a pain in the ass to actually try and find these drivers. And so when I did that, I reformatted it as XFAT and then booted Windows off of the USB, Windows 10 flash drive, installed it, and you know, it's installed fine by regular standards. The problem is I couldn't get any of the drivers from reliable websites. Like I was able to get um, the graphics driver to work and I was able to get the wireless card to work but beyond that I couldn't get anything else to work and all the drivers were on like really sketchy websites and the thing is Apple wants you to use this bootcamp assistant because this will install all the drivers for you and for whatever reason they're now pushing bootcamp assistant I don't know that's retarded so if I can't remove the partitions because assuming it won't let me due to the fact that it's the active disk. Then I need to boot to an installation CD and handle it from there. But I don't have an installation CD, nor do I feel like creating one. So what I have is I have my old MacBook Air that I, this was my primary laptop before I bought this one. This had, this is the computer that actually holds the image that I cloned to this Mac. And 
if you guys are interested in that, maybe I'll put it in another video someday when I buy a new Mac and I feel like copying everything from this, but I don't think I'm going to do that anymore because I've ran into so many issues throughout time. But yeah, so what I'm going to do is I got this Thunderbolt cable and this Thunderbolt cable is just going to go to Thunderbolt ports on this. 2015 retina and then this one is going to go crap this thing's battery is so dead because i haven't used it in like a year it's going to go into oh wait macbook air had it on the other side uh right there okay so now what i need to do on this is and I'm, I'm hoping this works the way that I want it to. I want to go to uh, System Preferences. And I'm going to set this as Target Disk. So that will be Startup Disk. And then right here, Target Disk Mode. What this will allow us to do is to actually use this Mac's internal hard drive as an external hard drive. And this Mac will see it as an external hard drive connected over Thunderbolt. Now before we do this, you're going to want to make sure that your Mac is backed up. If you own a Mac and you're not backing it up, that's that's a problem because Macs are seriously the easiest machine to back up. I mean, Time Machine is such a great utility that if you're not doing that, then I don't know what you're doing with your life. I'm totally serious. Now if you're using like Windows, I can kind of see why you might not be backing up. It's a little more complicated to do it on Windows. But it doesn't mean that you shouldn't Google it and actually try to set up a backup. And if you have Linux, well, obviously, you, you already know the benefits of backing up. And if you're not backing up, then you already know the risks that you're taking. And, uh, yeah. So, what we're going to do is go ahead and put this in target disk mode. Target, target. Maybe I have to unlock this. Mind you, my disk is completely backed up as of two minutes ago. And then, are you sure you want to put this computer in target disk mode? Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right. So yeah, you can do this with Thunderbolt or Firewire. Okay, so now this Mac will restart into target disk mode. And see, this is target disk mode. You just get this little screensaver with the Thunderbolt. If it's a fire connected over Firewire, it'll show Firewire. And uh, you can see the battery life percentage, which it's currently unplugged because this thing's battery is dead and I just plugged it into here. We're gonna have to start the, oh. No, it's not dead. All right, so you can see here on the desktop, we have Macintosh HD and we have another Macintosh HD, but we can tell that this one is an external Macintosh HD. This is the one on this Mac. So we're viewing this here and I'll just move these around a little bit. We have Macintosh HD, we have my, my Untitled Partition, and we have my Basic Data Partition right here. So, let's get there, all right. So, these are the three partitions. So, now, we should just be able to use Disk Part to take a look at these partitions, or Disk Utility, I keep calling it Disk Part. Um, and then we can see here this is Macintosh HD. So which one is which? Okay, this is the 128 gigans. Okay, so this is the one for this computer. Man, I missed this old disk utility. I don't know why Apple changed it to the weird crap they have now that doesn't work half the time. But, yeah, so... Um, hmm, that's weird. This is showing another partition that wasn't, I didn't see before. So let's bring this up. We're going to click on partition. You can see all the partitions. So this is the basic data partition. That is 5.52 gigabytes. And I'm going to erase that one. So are you sure you want to remove basic data partition? These partitions won't be erased. 
okay? So yes, we want to remove a basic data partition and now it's added to Macintosh HD. And we also want to select Untitled. So this is the MS-DOS one, the one that I was going to install Windows on. We're going to remove it. And this partition will be erased. All right. Perfect. So now we got Macintosh HD and Disk 2S4. But I think this might actually be a Macintosh deal. I don't know what it does. I should probably Google it. Verifying volume. 406 days, 2 hours. What? It's over a year. I don't have time for that. Okay, so uh, after that verifying thing. Um, I just closed it. And I took the risk of possibly damaging the disk, but it seems like it worked. Um, it's now just showing uh, Macintosh HD and disk 2.4s. I still don't know what that does. And it looks like here on my desktop, Macintosh HD, it looks like it's completely intact. But I'm just going to go ahead. I decided I'm going to delete disk 2.s4 because I noticed that this, this Mac doesn't have it. So I don't know what, what it's doing. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that anyway. Um, so we're just gonna go back to partition. And I'm gonna say, no more you. You can go die. And so uh, what we'll do now is, uh, well, we don't really need to shut this down. We can go over here and we can turn this off now. Well, actually we should probably Eject the disk first. Eject Macintosh HD. Uh, can we... Okay, we can't eject the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this off. Turn off. There we go. Alright. Turn it back on. Let's see if it tries to boot into my Windows partition. Yeah, okay. So for whatever reason, it's still showing it to the Mac. <laughs> because I, I erased the partition there, it's going to blue screen of death. That's just normal. Um, that's just the bootstrap. But I don't know why the bootstrap is still showing if I erased it. Unless, unless it's still somehow embedded into like the Macintosh in some weird way manifestation that I'm not aware of how it works. Alright, so now let's try Bootcamp Assistant again. What? The startup disk cannot be partitioned or restored to a single partition. The startup disk must be formatted as macOS. External to volume or already partitioned by Bootcamp Assistant installing. What? But I did all that. Yeah, it's just showing it as a single partition. Macintosh HD. Let's see. Yeah, Mac OS X Extended Journal. Mac OS Extended Journal. Oh, <sighs> look at that. This is OS Extended Journal, and this is Mac OS Extended Journal. Maybe that's why it won't work. Oh, wait. Untitled 16.8 megabytes. Oh, I can remove it now. It'll let me remove that one. Let's remove that. Oh my god. One singular disk. What? Why? Show, show me the money. Running operation one of one. Couldn't read partition map. Operate. You bitch. So I got a straggler here that I can't do anything with? Is that what you're telling me? Maybe. Wait, let's select it. Okay. Let's make it MS DOS fat. Let's make that little bitch MS DOS fat. Operation successful? Okay. Operations. Let me select you. Remove. Apply. Checking overflow file. Oh, it might work. It might work. The operation was successful. 
We've successfully growing the operating of the file system. Look at that. One singular Macintosh HD. 499.71 gigabytes. Let's check the partition data again. Yes, there's no weird bitches in there. Great, perfect. 500 gigabytes. All right. Close you. This may or may not work. <gasps> it works! And my Mac is still working just fine. Oh my god. Thank you, buddy. You're still useful in some way. Don't ask me why I have a pink thing. It was the only one I could get at the time, and I was super paranoid about spilling something on it. That's, that's why it's pink. Deal with it. So this is great. So this means that I can now install Windows and make it all the disk. Oh wait, my disk is probably like super full on this machine. I probably need to offload stuff again because I have a lot of... Uh, doing these videos like this really fills this Mac up a lot because Final Cut Pro like renders everything as like a... Uh, and like super huge files. So it's it's it just eats up my data all the time. I really wish I would have bought a one terabyte and spent the extra billion dollars on it, but whatever.